Hello everyone, welcome to Meshi Arts. Today I am here going to show you a new stitch that is called a cluster stitch. It is one of the very easy and simple stitches and a beginner after getting the beginner's instructions they can usually start with this and it's very fun to do. So you are going to start with a slip stitch or slip knot and do some chains. Uh, I am going to do a few chains or you can say 20 to 30 chains to describe you or less or more. But the main uh, uh, focus is to show you how to do a cluster stitch. For this after making the base foundation base chain or you can say the foundations uh, foundation chain you simply have to make the blocks uh, and now the blocks are going to become uh, like you have done uh, your uh, chains. Now you are going to do single crochet into the third chain from the hook. So this is one, two and three. This is my third chain as you all can see. Let me set my camera to the full. Okay, now you can see. One, two and three. In the third one, we are going to do a slip, a single crochet. After doing this single crochet, we are going to chain one. Leave a chain and in the next one, we are going to do a single crochet. Chain one, skip one chain and a single crochet you can see there are the spaces between once one, one one chain space is there in this one chain space we are going to do the cluster stitch okay so uh, once you have finished it you can join me or uh, let me finish let me come to an end and uh, uh, join you within a while Alright, so once you have finished your chains, I'm leaving this just like this as I'm only going to give you some instructions. Now what you have to do, now we are on the cluster. So how to make the cluster? You first have to make three chains, turn your work and we are going to work in these spaces. So yarn over, go into the chain space. Pull through two loops. Now you have two loops on your hook. Now once again yarn over. Go through two loops. Yarn over. This is our third half double, cro uh, double crochet. And this is my fourth double crochet. After making this four double crochet. Okay. Like uh, you can also say four incomplete double crochets. Now you have five loops on your hook and now you have to pull through all the five loops and chain one so this is your first cluster stitch moving on we are going to work in the in the one chain space first incomplete double crochet second third, fourth, now you have total five loops on your hook, pull through all the fives and make a chain. This is how our cluster stitch looks like. Let me show you one more. See, this is how it looks like. Let me complete the line and uh, come back. See, this is how our first line looks like. Now, it, it depends on you if you want to make more chains in between two clusters. You can give the chains and leave the space accordingly. And on the top of it, you are now going to work like... Uh, how to start the new row we are going to chain three turn our work and in between two 
clusters we are going to make the cluster if you want to change your color you can also change your color at this time the cluster stitch looks very good if you are making a blanket out of it or you can also use it in any sort of uh, different projects you want you can also use it in the hats or caps or something like that i also have made a cap with it i also used this stitch in uh, baby feeder cover i have also used it in the caps and i've also tried making a blanket out of it but it didn't come out to be successful because i was out of yarn and the yarn was uh, my yarn was finished so i wasn't able to complete that so I hope the cluster stitch is clear to you. Thank you so much for watching the video. Have a great day.